Hey, what's going on everybody? This is hole number eight of the Fall Major 2021 Expert Division Weekend Round. For our tee shot, we want to use an APOC level four and above and a Berserker Ball. We're going to apply 1.5 top spin with two right spin. And then with an APOC level five, we're going to push out to max extension, APOC level five and above, push out to max extension. And with our APOC level eight, we've got the clear ring touching the left rough where the min, where the max line intersects the rough. So you got the clear ring, the max line, and the rough all intersecting on the left-hand side. So that this is with an APOC five plus. Um, with an APOC level four, and the ring placement will change because of accuracy, so keep that in mind. With an APOC level four, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch real quick. I'm going to let it fall to rest. I'm going to switch to a power four ball. This right here is what your what your setup would look like with an APOC level four. I realize it's an APOC level eight and it's a P4 ball, but it just visualize an APOC level four with a berserker ball. That's where you want to place your, your target at rest. You'll be at max rest. So not plus 24 yards. Don't, don't get it confused. With the APOC level four, you'll be at plus 30 yards. All right, so I'm gonna switch back to my Berserker ball, refine my aim point with my APOC eight. And then from here, we're going to adjust P5 max plus 10% elevation. And if you're using APOC level four, make sure you push up seven yards after your adjustment. That way you can equal the power rating of an APOC level five and above. Then we're going to apply max overpower with about a ball and a half right curl. Ball is going to land in this little island fairway and then bounce over to the next fairway and we're going to roll out for a drive distance of 402 yards. Alright, for our approach shot, we want to use a Grizzly level 7 and above, but also you want to make sure that you have a sniper as your wood club in your bag. So what we're going to do to determine our distance from the from the hole is we're going to use sniper rings centered around the cup. So real quick, we'll go back. So if you see, I put the sniper at min club, we're four rings past the hole. So four rings past the hole, and that's going to be how we're going to gauge the slider percentage for our approach. So no spin on our approach shot. We want to be about a square short of the hole. Four rings past, four sniper rings past the hole. We're going to play this one P5 plus 0% elevation at 45% slider. <clears throat> then we want to make sure we center the ball. <clears throat> and we hit perfect. Ball's going to land in the fairway, bounce up onto the green. And we're going to roll out center cup for the eagle on hole number eight. Uh, one thing I'll probably change going forward is the amount of top spin that I'm going to use on my tee shot. Um, as you saw with our sniper ring verification, we were decently past the hole. And any further, we're not going to have an accurate ring to, to gauge our distance from. So I think instead of using one and a half top spin, I recommend using probably 1.2 top spin just so our drive doesn't go quite as far. That way we can use utilize the entire 10 ring span of our sniper as needed. For further instruction on how to play this hole, make sure you guys click the link below and subscribe to Expert Tournament Guys through Golf Clash Tommy. Good luck in your weekend rounds.